Hi there, I'm Mercer from VPN Mentor. Welcome to our tutorial and review of Safer VPN. In this video, I'm going to help you save your time by showing their site, pricing and plans, how to set up the VPN, and the efficiency of the support service to allow you to make informed decisions about whether or not this is the VPN for you. Okay, so we're on the website for Safer VPN. Let's just take a quick look at some of these features. So first of all, does all your basic VPN needs, accessing blocked sites, allowing you to surf privately and secure your internet connection. Um, it prides itself on being able to use the VPN for all devices. That includes Windows, Apple, Android, iOS. Um, so all types of devices are compatible. It's a very fast speed and you can also try out a free trial for this particular VPN. It's optimized for smart Wi-Fi protection in unsecured hotspot locations and has high speed VPN servers worldwide in all the countries listed here and more. It's got some very good reviews that speak highly of it as well. And um, they also pride themselves on five star 24 seven customer support as well as a no logging policy. They will never track whatever you are doing online. So let's take a look at the different plans and price ranges for Safer VPN. The shortest plan is the one month plan and will cost $8.99 per month. The next longest plan is the one year plan and it will cost less at $5.99 per month. The two year plan is the longest plan and will cost only $3.49 per month. For this particular example, I'm going to choose the one month plan. I would also like to draw your attention to the 14 day money back guarantee. So if you find that you are unhappy with the VPN within the first 14 days, you are more than able to get yourself a refund. So once I select the one month plan, we're going to be asked to create an account and pick a pricing method to uh, send the purchase through. So I'm going to enter these details now. We have an option of credit card, PayPal, Bitcoin or other. Um, so go ahead and choose which payment method you want, enter your information and go with, through with the purchase. Okay, now it will ask you to choose a password. Go ahead and make that for your account. Click continue. And now we have our account made. You can get these upgrades if you want, but I'm not going to for now, so I'm going to click no thank you. And go ahead to download for Windows. Then we'll just click download now. And the VPN will start downloading. Once it's downloaded, click on the icon to install. You will get your install window. Go ahead and click through this. Choose where you want to install to. And finally, that was a very quick install, so we are finished. Click close. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the app. Okay, so once you've installed the program, this window should come up. We're going to just click through here. It'll tell you a little bit about the program, uh, the different di uh, bits and pieces you can do with it. And we're just going to click finish now and enter our details. So I'm going to enter those now. Go ahead and click login. And now we are in. So as we can see here, we've got a list of recommended servers to connect to France, Germany, Russia, UK and USA. And then we've got all the locations listed below that. We can also choose to connect automatically to a server or just click here to connect immediately to your most optimized location. If we need to change any extra settings, we can go into here and um, select uh, what tab we want to go through. So we might need protocol settings, uh, auto Wi-Fi security settings, kill switch settings, general settings or support settings. And we also have information here about protocol, status, time connected and public IP address. Now, if we wanted to connect to the server, we will connect to our automatically most optimized location. That will be in the UK. So just hit the connect button and then we will simply disconnect from the network and log out. An alternative to the desktop app is the Chrome web extension. To install, go to the Safer VPN client page or home screen, click downloads, then Chrome, click install now and click add extension. Now make sure to press login below get started and enter your details. And then the web app is set up and ready to go. To use the web app, click the extension button in the top right, press here to connect and here to choose your server. You can access any options using the tab menu and press here to sign out. If neither the desktop app or the web extension are working for you, you can also set up the VPN manually. First, go to your start menu and click control panel. Click network and internet and go to the network and sharing center. Then click set up a new connection or network and click connect to a workplace. So you will use a new connection and click use my internet connection VPN. For now, leave internet address as it is. Make sure to check the box beside don't connect now and choose your destination name. Now go to the VPN homepage and click support. Go to search our articles and type server host. 
Now you will get a list of host names for safer VPN servers. I would recommend choosing a server from the IKEV2 side because they are generally a faster server. Highlight the one you want and copy it using Control c on your keyboard. Now go back to your VPN setup and copy the address into the internet address bar. Go ahead and click next and type in your details for your safer VPN account. Click remember this password and click create. Do not click connect now, just click close. Back in the network and sharing center, go ahead and click change adapter settings. Now right click on the VPN you've just created and click properties. You will get a new box with a number of tabs. Firstly, in the options tab, uncheck include Windows logon domain. Now in security, change the type of VPN to layer two tunneling protocol with IPsec, change the data encryption to maximum strength encryption and go into advanced settings. Now enter into the key box safer VPN 2013 with capitals as I've done here. Go into the networking tab and uncheck all boxes apart from internet protocol version 4. And that's you done. Now go down to your wireless and adapter settings at the bottom right. Under the dial up and VPN box, click your network and press connect. Go ahead and click connect again and you are connected. Okay, now we're going to run some tests with the VPN. I've signed out of the desktop app, the web extension and the manual VPN connection. These initial tests are made without the VPN. As you can see, it displays my IP address here ending with 219.8 and sees that my location is United Kingdom, Belfast. But if we connect to a USA server and connect the page, we can see that the IP has completely been refreshed and is appearing to be coming from United States, New York. Okay, so now we're going to test our connection on speedtest.net. As you can see here, we've got excellent results, a ping of 27 milliseconds, a download speed of 36.5 megabits per second, and an upload speed of 9 megabits per second. Now we're going to turn on the VPN, this time using the United Kingdom server, and go ahead and test again. As you can see here, we have managed to achieve an even smaller ping time, as well as maintaining our current download speed and upload speeds. Now we're going to do one final test with the USA server. We have gained some ping here because of the distance of the server, but the download and upload speeds are maintaining well. Now I'd like to carry out one final test. I'm now connected to my usual network and trying to view a video which is not available in my country. However, when we turn on the VPN and switch to the USA server, we are able to view the video with no buffering whatsoever. I also tested the VPN with Netflix. However, most of the servers are incompatible with Netflix and give this message. Only Denmark, Romania and Hungarian servers will work to access Netflix. Now I'm just going to run through a few quick troubleshooting steps to help you if your desktop app does not seem to be working. Before trying any of these steps, it's worth resetting your system to see if this fixes the issue first. Method 1. Open the app and go into the tab menu up here, press settings. Now where it says select a VPN protocol, change this drop down box to the first option other than automatic. Click apply and try connecting again. Do this for all protocols in the list to see if one works. If this is ineffective, follow these steps. Make sure your safer VPN desktop app is closed and press the Windows key and R on your keyboard. This will bring up this box. Type the one word app data as I have got it here and press OK. Navigate to your local folder, find your safer VPN folder and then delete it. Then restart the app and see if the issue is fixed. This last method is definitely a last resort, but it is worth trying if you have exhausted all the other methods. Press start and in the search box type firewall. Now select this option. At the side, select turn Windows Firewall on and off and turn both options to turn off Windows Firewall. Now I would not recommend this. This is only to see if you can get the VPN working this way. Turning off your firewall does leave your computer open to attacks, so use it sparingly. Then simply boot up Safer VPN and try again. Now, when I was initially setting up the VPN myself, I did encounter some issues with connecting. I immediately contacted Safer VPN support service. Now you can do this through the website in a couple of ways. The first and easiest way is to enter a live chat with a support agent through this button down here. I was very pleased to see that I got a reply here within the minute. Here you can discuss your issues with the agent and see if they can fix the issue for you. If not, the agents are happy to escalate your issue to a support ticket in order to take it further via email. On screen I'll be showing you a few screenshots of communications I had with various support agents. I was extremely pleased with every agent I talked to. Everyone was very helpful and gave clear, easy instructions to follow in order to solve my issues. The response times were also excellent. If you have a deadline that requires the VPN, just let the support team know and they will put you on the priority list for fixing your issue. All in all, the support service is very friendly, helpful and quickly resolves your issue. Finally then, I'm going to take a quick look at the client area on Sofa VPN and show you how to unsubscribe from the service and receive your money back within the 14 days guaranteed refund slot. 
First of all, we can see our subscription, what package we've got on the billing cycle, what price it will be and when it will expire. We can also read down the program from here if we need to reinstall it. Also, if you refer a friend and they sign up, you will both get a free month of service as well as being able to visit the blog from this page. So now here are the steps of receiving a refund. First of all, click edit beside your subscription and then click cancel. Go ahead and click yes and then explain the reason for your leaving. Now that the request has been submitted, simply wait until you get a reply from Safer to complete your refund. Now I received my refund about an hour and a half after submitting the request. However, by contacting Safer VPN through their 24 seven live chat, you can probably receive this sooner. All in all, I am very pleased with the service provided by Safer VPN today. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you appreciated the help from the video, please share, like, or comment below. If you're after more information and other VPN comparisons, make sure to check out our website at vpnmentor.com, the authority on VPNs and web privacy.